Neuro is on a mission to make everyday life a little easier by facilitating last mile deliveries of groceries and goods. At Neuro, the team has developed a new class of vehicle specifically designed to navigate neighborhoods and enable last mile delivery services. Their goal was to create autonomous vehicles that could carry and deliver goods while prioritizing the safety of everything outside the vehicle including but not limited to pedestrians. They started experimenting with this service in Northern California focusing on areas like Palo Alto and surrounding neighborhoods. The goal here was to test the service in low to medium traffic zones to better understand how well it handles intersections and crosswalks ensuring pedestrian safety. After successfully covering the major routes in Palo Alto in California, Neuro has established a strong presence there and expanded to other cities across America including Houston, Texas. They also secured a permit from California Department of Motor Vehicles to operate these vehicles autonomously in designated neighborhoods. Initially focusing on grocery deliveries, Neuro recently announced plans to expand their service by licensing their autonomous mobility service to other car manufacturers. Which leads us to the question, how did this project come to life? The team at Neuro started with an idea. What if robots could enable local commerce improving our communities? They designed an autonomous service vehicle specifically dedicated to carrying goods. Then they brought it to life. They are constantly making it better and here is the next generation of Neuro. This vehicle is equipped with large temperature control compartments to keep groceries, dairy and other perishable foods safe and secure. It's designed to be fully electric with zero emissions and most importantly, it prioritizes the safety of people around the vehicle over the good it carries. The vehicle is built to be multi-purpose and to be commercialized at scale. Now, Neuro is expanding across the US with the Grand Tour, a nationwide mission to map new cities across the entire states. Over the next three months, their team will cover 80,000 miles across 53 major metro areas. This tour will capture diverse driving data from bustling urban centers to quiet rural roads, training their autonomous navigation system to handle diverse scenarios. Here is a quick overview of Neuro's journey so far. Founded in 2016 by Dave and Giorgio Anzu, Neuro quickly made strides. In 2018, they raised $92 million and later established partnership with Kroger. Then, they launched their first paid service using the prototype vehicle R1. Finally, in 2019, they established partnership with Domino's and later expanded their service to California, Texas and Arizona. Now, they are licensing their service to car manufacturers. That brings us to this question, how does the system work? And most importantly, how did they build it? To answer this question, we first need to understand the type of vehicles that form their fleet and their role. Neuro's journey began with the Toyota Prius, retrofitted with sensors to enable autonomous driving. The first customer out here was 7-Eleven, a retail chain in the US. This Prius fleet, equipped with advanced sensors and compute capabilities, was initially deployed in partnership with Kroger to pilot self-driving service for grocery deliveries. These vehicles operated with safety drivers on board to monitor performance and gather data for further development. Goal here was to test this model of autonomous grocery deliveries on real roads while ensuring max safety levels with a safety driver on board. Then, Neuro introduced its first custom-built autonomous vehicle, the R1. This was developed in collaboration with a manufacturer from China called BYD. The R1 was designed solely for goods transportation with no space for passengers or drivers. It provided a safe, efficient and fully autonomous solution for last mile delivery, making a significant advancement from the retrofitted priors in functionality and purpose. This added a tremendous value to the autonomous delivery market. Following the success of R1, Neuro launched R2 in 2020. This second generation vehicle offered larger cargo capacity, handling up to 420 pounds of goods and could operate across a city-wide scale. With a focus on emission-free operations, R2 quickly became the primary zero-occupant vehicle for deliveries in California and Houston, Texas, while the Prius fleet transitioned to mapping and testing services only. In 2022, Neuro unveiled the R3, the most advanced vehicle yet, designed for automotive-grade production with BYD, 
R3 can carry up to 500 pounds and has modular temperature control compartments to keep items hot or cold. Notably, R3 includes an external airbag for enhanced pedestrian safety. Today, R3 is in the pre-production testing while the Prius fleet remains dedicated to mapping new service areas. For those of you interested in learning more about the specifications, here is a quick peek at the specification sheet for Neuro. It is equipped with a range of sensors that enable safe and efficient delivery of goods and services in an autonomous manner. With companies like Domino's, FedEx, Uber and CVS exploring autonomous delivery service, understanding how the system works has never been more important. That brings us to the design of Neuro. If you notice carefully, it's inspired by the warmth of the human face and the protective helmets of F1 racers. Neuro's design reflects a thoughtful approach to safety and friendliness. This unique design creates an inviting and friendly look, especially for making autonomous robots feel approachable as they drive through neighborhoods. That brings us to safety. Neuro is building one of the most safest vehicles on the road, especially for vulnerable road users such as pedestrians and cyclists. This lightweight and narrow vehicle features pedestrian airbags, the first of its kind, to protect people on the road. The goal is really to protect those outside the vehicle as it only carries goods. Hence, a lot of emphasis has been given to the safety of pedestrians and nearby vehicles. The vehicle itself is fully electric, producing zero emissions and most are powered by renewable energy. With each new generation, the vehicle has grown slightly in size. The latest version can now hold 24 bags of groceries or around 500 pounds of goods providing ample capacity. This allows Neuro to batch multiple orders and carry larger loads. The vehicle can cruise at about 45 miles per hour and cover a distance of around 100 miles. The team has also developed a DC fast charging methodology to ensure these vehicles are durable and ready for commercial operations. Now let's discuss the sensors that enable it to operate in the real world. The sensor pod located at the top of the vehicle houses long range sensors such as LiDAR and high definition cameras which work together to capture a 360 degree view of its surroundings. LiDAR systems emit laser pulses to create a detailed 3D map of the environment, accurately measuring distances to detect objects in real time, even in low light conditions. High definition cameras capture detailed images for object recognition, enabling the vehicle to identify and differentiate between pedestrians, vehicles, road signs, and other elements. This visual data complements LiDAR, providing rich contextual information for safe navigation. They also have thermal cameras and short range sensors optimally placed around the vehicle to minimize blind spots, especially during night times. Since the vehicle is custom designed by Neuro, the sensors are embedded into the vehicle rather than being added onto an existing design. This is the advantage of developing a self-driving vehicle from the ground up. The arc located on top of the vehicle has been a consistent part of the Neuro's design. It includes three main sensors, a primary LiDAR, a 360-degree ring of long-range cameras, and a 360-degree ring of long-range radar. These three sets of sensors enables Neuro to have a coherent view of its surrounding on urban streets. Additionally, underneath the arc, there are three thermal cameras. These thermal cameras are positioned in a wide band and face forward position which enables a high resolution view during both day and night times. In the front and on the side, the team has added short range sensors such as LiDAR cameras and radars. The goal really over here is to optimize these sensors to protect pedestrians and people around the vehicle, especially during pickup and drop off. They are also cleaned frequently to ensure they remain dirt free and effective, ensuring robust operations day and night. These vehicles are equipped with triple redundant computers that process data and at the same time handle hardware failures. These triple redundant aerospace grade computers enable robust control of the vehicle, enable aggregation of sensor data and ensure the vehicle can come to a safe stop if there is a loss of power. Neuro recently announced it will be using the NVIDIA's powerful Thor supercomputer to drive its autonomous navigation system. Designed for advanced AI, and real-time decision-making, 
Thor delivers 2,000 teraflops of processing power, optimizing Neuro vehicles for reliable, fast, and precise autonomous operations. Neuro is designed to ensure a safe, reliable, and robust end-to-end -end user experience for delivering goods, food, and services to communities worldwide. Whether you need a pizza or a package from your courier company, Neuro has you covered. With that as a background, you must be wondering how the system works. Before we look into Neuro's system architecture, let's review our standardized system architecture for autonomous system. This includes four key components. The first component is perception. This includes a range of sensors and algorithms that allow our vehicle to map its surrounding, detect objects, lanes, and pedestrians, and generate a 360-degree view of its environment. The second component is localization. This module acts as the vehicle's compass. It allows the vehicle to track its position in the real world. GPS alone is not enough since we need centimeter level accuracy for autonomous driving. So GPS data is combined with HD maps to ensure precise location tracking. The third component is Path Planner. This module defines our trajectories, ensuring they are safe, legal, reliable, and optimal. Motion control is where we take the trajectory from the path planner and execute it using steering, accelerator, and brakes. Now that we understand the standardized architecture, let's take a look at Neuro's autonomous architecture. We cover this technology and similar case studies in great detail in our course on self-driving cars. From Zoox to Waymo and Tesla to Cruise and Nvidia, we break down the self-driving tech stack of these vehicles in an easy to understand manner. Ready to start your journey in this field? Check the link in the description below to our course. Now, let's get back to Neuro. Neuro's architecture for the self-driving system consists of four key components. This includes mapping, perception, prediction and planning, and remote operations. To simplify, Neuro's perception stack combines a standard perception and localization module into one. This allows the vehicle to scan its surrounding, develop maps, and track its position using the GPS sensor and the map matching techniques. The prediction and path planning module combines path planning and motion control modules from our standardized architecture, enabling the vehicle to plan its trajectory and execute its action in real time. The remote operations module functions as a teleguidance component. This enables remote operators to take the control of the vehicle and guide it on a case-by-case -case basis. Now let's cover each of these elements in detail. Neuro's mapping team builds high-definition maps entirely in-house. First, they select a route within the target mapping area. Operators then drive these routes collecting data using Neuro's mapping fleet made up of Toyota Prius vehicles. In fact, Neuro's Prius fleet is essentially identical to their delivery bots with the same set of sensors and computing systems. This configuration allows us to use the data that was collated using the Toyota Prius fleet to generate autonomous navigation systems for our robotic system. The data collected by this mapping fleet is then processed by a combination of machine learning algorithms and human inputs. This process enables development and verification of detailed maps for each new city that Neuro wishes to operate in. These maps include extensive road features like lanes, traffic lights, and crosswalks, resulting in highly accurate navigation data for their vehicles. So the data from the fleet is processed using human inputs and machine learning algorithms to generate a coherent 3D view of the surrounding. The next component in Euro's autonomous stack is perception. Perception enables the vehicle to gather sensor data and construct a 3D view of its surrounding in real time. This ensures the vehicle has up-to-date information about its environment, complementing a pre-developed 3D map. The perception module continuously builds this 3D view in real time as the vehicle navigates through different neighborhoods, identifying and understanding objects around it. This is achieved using a custom sensor stack made up of LiDAR, radar, and cameras. So over here, we use a combination of object detection algorithms and machine learning techniques applied across the sensor data to detect and classify objects. Algorithms such as YOLO or SSDNet play a key role over here, enabling us to detect these objects in real time. The goal really is to ensure a vehicle is able to identify these objects and classify them in real time. For each object detected and classified, the system evaluates three key attributes, namely speed, direction, and acceleration. 
In case of a system failure, Neuro's autonomous system is equipped to ensure it can identify the failure, park itself, and enable remote diagnosis and resolution. Once Neuro's vehicle has identified objects, it needs to create a path based on predicted behaviors of these objects. Neuro's prediction and path planning module develops a set of potential behavior of future states for each moving object. The vehicle then projects these behaviors of future states up to 10 seconds into the future, factoring in its own potential actions. By evaluating different scenarios, Neuro's system chooses the safest option. Predicting how others behave is one of the most challenging part of autonomous driving, and that's where path planning and prediction algorithms come into picture. Neuro relies heavily on machine learning in this component, but also incorporates fallback options based on vehicle dynamics and mapping data. Over here, in case it identifies an event which cannot be easily handled by its navigation algorithm, an alert is raised and sent to its remote operation team. Neuro's autonomous system is highly capable and reliable in real-world driving, but can encounter unusual challenging scenarios where human assistance is needed. In such cases, the system safely brings the vehicle to a stop, allowing Neuro's remote operations team to provide guidance or take control as needed. Neuro rigorously tests its navigation algorithms in advanced simulation tools before deploying them to its fleet. These simulations replicate complex real-world scenarios, ensuring the system can safely manage everything from busy intersections to unexpected obstacles. By running millions of simulated miles, Neuro refines and validates each algorithm, enhancing the reliability and safety of its autonomous vehicle for the communities they serve. An essential part of Neuro's commercial strategy is its partnerships. Partners include the world's largest grocer, a top food delivery restaurant, the biggest convenience store chain, and one of the leading logistic companies. Neuro systems are designed from ground up specifically for deliveries. Each Neuro vehicle features a large, intuitive touchscreen located on the side of the vehicle to guide users through the entire delivery process. These vehicles remember user preferences such as the preferred drop-off location, personal access codes, making everyday delivery a personalized experience. One of the key features of Neuro's vehicle is the modular compartment inserts that adapt to different delivery needs. With two compartments, each capable of holding a swappable temperature control insert, Neuro ensures like items like pizza stay warm and sodas and dairy stay cold, providing the quality that the customers expect in this market. Instead of customizing each vehicle for different use cases, Neuro modifies the inserts to fit each partner's needs. For instance, secure lockers keep packages safe and adjustable shelves allow customers to add on extra products. With capacity for up to 500 pounds of groceries or around 24 bags, Neuro's vehicle is prepared for a variety of delivery tasks. Through strong partnerships and an optimized vehicle design, Neuro has found the right combination for scaling autonomous delivery. This means more free time for people, safer roads, stronger local economies, and healthier communities are just around the corner. We cover this technology and similar case studies in great detail in our course on self-driving cars. From Zooks to Waymo and Tesla, we break down these tech stacks in an easy to understand manner. If you are ready to start your journey in this field, please check the link in the description below. Thank you.